So that's not a, that's not our, uh, our artifact then, huh? That knife. Okay, so shit. I have no idea. I'm just gonna have to talk to people, I guess. Hey, you guys. Did you see a medical kit lying around anywhere? I thought I'd left one in Nora House, but I can't seem to find it. I'm guessing someone had a use for it during that ruckus yesterday. Pulse is a dangerous place, and I don't have the supplies to deal with serious injuries. If you find the kit, can you bring it to me? A uh, new Bonum 3AF Nora member, Nail, is missing the medical kit uh, someone used last night during the monster invasion. Search new Bodum for the item and return it to her. Yeah, okay, Thank sure. You. My other kits are practically empty. And we still have people to treat. And you're sitting on your ass not looking for it. What's wrong with you? Take forever to arrive. I'm counting on you. Jesus, you lazy bitch. Okay, so we're looking for this kit. It's pretty cool that they actually give you missions. You know, that's pretty dope. Oh, and you can actually save, unlike, you know, in the last game where we had to do those stupid ass, uh, you know, we had those little random saving things. I always hated those in games, always. Uh, I want to see quest. I guess I go to data log. No. Fragments, map. Let's go to map, see what I can fi uh, find. No. Nah. Ah, you suck. So I'm supposed to just be able to find it? Hold on a sec. Find the medical kit. Thing is, it's just pointing me to her, which kind of sucks. Okay, let's talk to other people, though. Just for, for now, before I go looking for it. Hey there, Sarah. Sorry, but I'm not letting anyone near that meteorite just yet. All right, then. Hey, Gado. What do you think those artifact things are? You know, the keys Noel was talking about. How should I know? Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Really? So wow. You do you know something? No, I got no idea. You're not actually swallowing any of that crap, are you? I have to give him a chance, at least. Yeah, how would else? How else would you explain all that shit going on, you dumb fuck? Sarah, who's your friend? Someone from a faraway place. No, is there anything you want to ask? Tell me more about this town. We uh used to live in a place called Voter. That's where we created Norm. But we had to find another place to live after that incident three years back. We left Cocoon and created this town. Wow. So that big guy's in charge, huh? He's strong like an ox. But he's no leader. Here in town, LeBro's actually in command. She is the head of Nora, after all. Huh. At least, for now. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Godot and LeBro have important roles, but without Huge, we'd never agree on anything. And who knows what we'd do without Mackie's gadgets. So the four of them together make the perfect leader. But what about Sarah? What's her huh. She's a grade school teacher. Oh, wow. Really strict one, too. <laughs> He's teasing again. No, I'm a real bitch. <laughs> you know, Mackie's been acting kind of shifty lately. And here's Mackie again, the, the, this schmuck right here. I'll bet you anything it's that guy for sure. He looks totally guilty. Hmm? What's that now? Nothing. I didn't say anything. The only person there at the time was. That just told me who he's talking about. It's right here. Yeah, I have like four of them. <laughs> Isn't that cool? What? I'm so glad you're safe. <laughs> yeah. Now, did everyone do their homework? I did mine, because I didn't want you getting mad at me like the last time. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you'd be soft on kids, but you're pretty strict, huh? Hey. 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 Hey.
I'm only strict because my teacher was strict. <laughs> Lightning must have rubbed off on me. Thank you, asshole, for beeping your horn. It's history. You instant, you fucking insincere bitch. <laughs> In the future uh, world, Noel's grandmother was also a teacher. What should I ask him? Uh, what was she like? Are you ready for, uh, did you, do you know what happens next? Do you want to go back there? What was she like? That's what I'll say. Whatever. What was your grandmother like? I was always her favorite. She kind of spoiled me. She lived until she was 50, so she had a lot to teach me. 50? 50's not really she all that old. So young. Exactly. Lifespans were longer during this age. If my grandmother were still alive, I could have learned so much more. I could have... I could have... Yeah, I was gonna say, because 50's not all that old. What the hell? I mean, yeah, sure, you're aged, but you're not all that old. Like, you're still young to die. Oh, it was that little bastard. Come here, little fucker. I don't know what you did, but I'm going after your stupid ass. A fucking prick. What are you running from? Watch it. Don't go that way. Yeah, sure, don't attack the kid, attack the person with the weapon. You monsters are very smart. <laughs> smart indeed. And I also noticed they changed the music. It's not the same thing like in uh, in the first uh, game. In the first one, it was always the same music. All the time. All the time. I mean, granted, it was cool music, but after a while, Jesus Christ, it just got annoying. Why are you running? You don't even know me. Well, actually, that could be a reason. <laughs> Screw you, monsters. I have no time for you. I'm ghosting. This little bastard. He runs fast. I give him that, but no, he's slowing down. Come here, you little prick. Here, now we've got you. Give me that medical kit. That's what you took, right? Miss mm, Farron. The boy's hiding something. What approach would you uh, would be best? I'll buy you lunch for a year. <laughs> I'll buy you lunch for a year. What have you been up to, young man? Talk to Miss Farron. Promise I won't get mad. All right, now spill it, Mister. What have you been up to, young man? Why don't you talk to Miss Farron? Hmm? Uh, you're kind of scaring me. Uh, I think you just completely creeped him out. All right, spit it now, mister. Listen up, mister, and you listen good. Start talking or your homework gets tripled. Just give me paper. No! Please, please, anything but that! What the hell? Not exactly making friends, are we? Okay, uh... Why did you run away? I promise I won't get mad if you tell me. I know you say you won't get mad at me, but I can't tell you. I don't want to get yelled at. You already got yelled at. Trying to get away from Mackie. I bet you anything he was up to no good. Why did you run from right? Right. Out it already. <laughs> I don't have to talk. You don't know. No, fuck that. Why did you outrun from Mackie? You were running from Mackie, weren't you? Did you do something you weren't supposed to? I was watching him work on the robot. And then I saw it and I just couldn't help myself. This ought to be good. And then what happened? Maybe if I give it one more shot, then I... Okay. I don't want to yell at you. I hope you're not misbehaving. It makes me sad when my students don't behave. I'm sorry, Miss Farron. Guess I'll own up. The truth is, I sold something for Mackie. That's fucking time. Chasing you. What did you take? This necklace. It belongs to you, doesn't it? 
snow's necklace, you son of a bitch, I'm gonna yell at you. Hey, wait! And here I was, about to buy you lunch for a year. <laughs> to Mackie, doesn't it? No, it's mine. It's a reminder of a promise a good friend made me. Okay. And Mackie was mad, why? Sarah, I believe you. Your sister's alive. She's out there somewhere. Thank you, Snow. Here, you hang on to this for a while. When I come back, it'll be with lightning. <laughs> you got some big balls to say something like that, mister. <laughs> okay. Okay. And that was the last time I saw snow. The memories I had of lightning standing on the plain beneath Cocoon. He was the only one who believed. Believed them enough to do something. And doing nothing, right? Lightning and snow are long gone, but you still sit here and wait. Why didn't you go after them? Uh, how should I reply? Snow told me to wait because of the children. I have faith in snow. I have faith in snow. I have faith in snow. He is a hero after all. And has that faith been enough? Neither of you want to be apart, yet here you are alone. Don't you think I know that? <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. But you tell me, what good is a hero if he's never around? Alright. Well, we still haven't found that fucking artifact. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch, I'm out of here.